to biology class children today we are going to draw the structure of animal cell in case of animal body also we can see cells our body is made of millions of tiny cells how these cells are arranged and how many types of tissues are there already we discussed in our previous classes in our regular classes we discussed these all the points now today in this class we are going to learn the diagram of animal cell now i am going to draw the diagram of animal cell first you have to draw like this in case of animal cell we can see only a single layer that least single layer is called cell membrane so this is the cell membrane this cell membrane is also called plasma membrane what is that other name of cell membrane plasma membrane so this is the outer layer of our cell nothing but animal cell this is cell membrane inside of plant cell and also inside of animal cell we can see a jelly like material the jelly like material is called cytoplasm this is the cytoplasm the jelly like material is called cytoplasm cytoplasm cyto means cell plasma means fluid so the fluid present inside the cell is called cytoplasm next remaining part i'm going to draw the nucleus in case of animal cell we can see the nucleus in the center of the cell this is the nucleus nucleus is also called cpu of the cell means central processing unit of the cell it controls all the activities within the cell hence it is called cpu of the cell in case of animal cell we can see the nucleus in the center of the cell this is the main characteristic feature of the animal cell this is nucleus near the nucleus we can see some skeleton like structure that skeleton like structure is called endoplasmic reticulum now i am going to draw the endoplasmic reticulum this endoplasmic reticulum contains ribosomes over itself for the preparation of proteins these dots like structures are called ribosomes these ribosomes are useful for the manufacture of proteins if endoplasmic reticulum contains ribosomes over itself then it is called rough ear this is endoplasmic reticulum in short we can call it as er er means endoplasmic reticulum this is the nucleus this is the endoplasmic reticulum remaining parts now we are going to draw in the animal cell now we are going to draw another organelle present in the animal cell that is golgi complex this golgi complex is also called golgi apparatus camillo golgi named one famous scientist was discovered this complex this is called golgi complex golgi complex it is also called golgi apparatus it is useful for the secretion in the animal cell 
another organ in now i am going to draw that is mitochondria if you observe the plant cell and animal cell both they contains 100 to 150 mitochondrions in each and every cell this is mitochondria these mitochondrions are useful for the preparation of the energy within the cell this is mitochondria next in case of plant cell and animal cell we can see a very smaller microscopic tiny structures they are called lysosomes these lysosomes are called suicidal bags of the cell these lysosomes look like dot like structures why these uh, lysosomes structure was not isolated by the scientists still now okay that is why i have drawn these lysosomes as like a dot like structures okay so lysosomes these are lysosomes these lysosomes are also called suicide bags of the cell why does these are called suicide bags of the cell these lysosomes are useful to kill the microorganisms enters in the animal cell and also in the plant cell okay children so animal cell diagram is completed thank you